Good evening, everyone. Today we have a Stanley number 299 utility knife. It's kind of funny um, when you search on eBay for something and then find it later in an antique store. That's exactly what happened here. <laughs> I, uh, I was looking on eBay at these beautiful utility knives from back in the day and uh, me and my lady and kid went into an antique store and we found it and I thought oh man one dollar and 99 cents for a number 2.99 very undervalued uh, but this one was pretty rough um, glued together with paint uh, it's a utility knife it was used and abused and I just kind of wanted to experiment with it nice short project that took me a billion hours you know first things first you got to do a little cleanup and somewhere through this I kept changing my mind about what I wanted to do originally it was just kind of thinking about my normal sort of cleanup and restoration and then around here when I'm doing a wire wheel polish I thought what if I tried to like buff this thing out and make it super shiny? I know nothing about polishing. This is the first time, but you can kind of see from the paint stripping to just kind of a wire wheeling, it, it really started to kind of shine and sparkle. I thought, okay, maybe I should go a little bit more hardcore in this. And that took me down a path of trying to sand out and file out pretty much every, <laughs> every mark, every scratch. Um, and you know, I was fairly successful with it, but just complete overkill and ridiculousness. Uh, this video is like under five minutes, but I probably sanded and scraped on this thing for eight or 10 hours. <laughs> and uh, it was a good project to kind of try to learn how to polish and buff things out. Uh, because it's very much a low uh, risk project. Uh, only spending a dollar ninety nine on it uh, kind of made it made me feel like I could do whatever I wanted with it, and there was no failure. So as usual, uh, I enlisted my wonderful lady to help me paint this thing because my hands shake because life. Anyway. Um, after kind of doing a little restoration, kind of wanted to customize it, make it my own. And that's where you see I went with the red handles with the, the white lettering. Uh, I'd say I was like 85% happy with the paint. Um, maybe someday I'll redo it. Maybe I won't. It's just a tool. Who cares? Why are you stressing? I don't know. I can't help it. There we go. Sort of the finished project and my use case for it. I'm always needing a knife in the shop and uh, this is my new shop knife. You can see how far we went with it. Thank you for watching.